James Davison Hunter, in his widely influential book, uh, To Change the World, has recommended that Christians should be silent for a season and serve the common good through, as he quotes, acts of shalom rather than law, policy, and political mobilization. How do you respond to that recommendation? Well, I have great respect for, for Jim Hunter and, and for his book. His critique, particularly of Christian social engagement, is one we largely agree with. Um, I, but I do have concerns about that type of statement, that somehow Christians can take a break from, pol from politics because they've done it badly. Um, the, the, there are a couple of problems with that viewpoint. One of them is that in a representative democracy, we're citizens with continuing responsibilities. Um, you can't say just because you have concerns about the nature of engagement that you, can, you give up on your democratic responsibilities. Um, you know, we're in a totalitarian society, it might be the responsibility of the believer just to live out their faith in fidelity. Um, um, in a representative democracy, we share in the responsibilities of government. It's our job um, to engage in these things. And so you can't, you can't dismiss that or, or suspend it. Um, I would also add that at any given moment in American politics, um, there are great issues of justice and compassion at stake. Um, so that you can't say, well, well, we'll take a break. Because right now, you know, we're, we, we may be debating issues having to do with AIDS policy in Africa or, you know, malaria or the nature of the family or issues of life. Um, those things can't just be waited on. Um, they have to be engaged because they're raised at the moment. Um, and so, you know, that, that also creates a set of moral duties for Christians as, as, we, as we move forward. There is a historical example uh, that we deal with in the book that relates to this and kind of end the book with. Um, you know, during the middle of the, the toughest days of the Civil Rights Movement, there were Christian pastors in Birmingham, Alabama, who urged Martin Luther King to stop pushing so hard. <laughs> Um, to stop seeking legal change, making essentially the argument that cultural change had to precede legal change, that it was more important or primary. Um, and King's response in the letter from the Birmingham jail was, I think, very effective, which is people that make that argument that say we need to delay or we can wait on these questions are not the ones who are suffering the injustices themselves. Um, and that's true in, in our country with children who are in failed schools, it's true in the world, with people in, in need of, you know, of AIDS drugs. Um, for someone to say we need to take a break from political engagement is, is a statement that could only be made by comfortable people. Um, because there are some people who, who depend greatly and immediately and urgently on, on the right kind of political involvement at any given moment. I agree with, with what Mike says, and I'd only add that I think what we need is not a period of disengagement, but a period of the right kind of engagement. Um, I think that's the, that's the key uh, distinction. Um, because as Mike said, uh, in every generation, uh, in every time, there are great matters of justice uh, and human rights that are at stake. So I wouldn't devalue either of those elements. It's very, very important for Christians to be creating great works of art. Um, you know, that affect, uh, you know, cultural norms. Um, but those cultural norms are also affected by the laws by which we govern our lives.